What's up, YouTube? No, it's not bourbon. I wish it was. Hey, in just a minute, we're going to start on a new series about epic beards. And I'm going to take this beast of a beard here and try to get it under control. Today, we're going to talk about beard oil. Before we do, I want you to go ahead and hit the, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications of when new stuff happens. All right, let's get into this. So I used to keep a really tight goatee. Been doing that for about a decade. Shave it off with a one guard or a two guard or something like that and just keep it neatly trimmed on the sides. And that was about, I don't know, 10, 15 years worth of that. Last fall, I decided, you know what, let's, let's just let this sucker grow and see what happens. So about September, October-ish, started letting it grow out and it started getting kind of unruly. And I noticed things I'd never noticed before, like when I'd eat, I'd get food stains up here or have food particles, stuff like that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta do a better job of showering. Cause you know, guys, they just, kind of take care of the main parts, you know, here and here. And so you let the shampoo and the soap do all the rest of the work. So I thought, you know what? I need to start like shampooing the beard. And then as I did that, it got that dry out a little bit. And I thought, well, I'm gonna use my wife's conditioner because that's what guys do is they just use the conditioner. They use the stuff that's already in the bathroom. Some guys don't have their own stuff. So I started using my wife's conditioner. And I thought, hey, that's actually pretty good. It makes the beard feel good, feel soft. It makes it uh, smell nice for a little while. So. I was doing that and then a guy at work noticed I was growing out my goatee and he said, hey man, have you ever tried any beard oil? And I'm like, no, but I've thought about it. And he says, I'm gonna bring you some beard oil. So the next day he comes in and he brings me this nice bottle of beard oil and I smell it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. So I put a little bit in my hands and I put it in my beard and kind of massaged it in and it just had this amazing aroma. It was kind of leather and tobacco and I thought oh man this is gonna be awesome came home got my wife to sniff she's like yeah I don't like that and I was like well shoot I gotta think of something else so started looking for more beard oils online and I thought wow that that stuff's expensive and I got to looking into it and doing a couple of YouTube searches and Google searches and I came up with you know, how to make your own beard oil and I'm like huh Let's think about that. So watched a few YouTube videos, did a little bit of research on Google, read a few articles about beard oils, and I thought, this is easy enough for me to do myself. Anyway, I made a beard oil, and I thought, this actually smells nice. So I'm gonna do that for you today. So stand by, and we'll go through the process. So a beard oil is actually two ingredients. The first thing is a carrier oil. Carrier oil is typically unscented, provides the moisture, the vitamins, the nourishment for your beard, for your face, to make it make it smooth, make it soft, and keep it, keep it conditioned, basically. And then there's the essential oil. The essential oil is the fragrance oil. And there's several different kinds of each one of these. I don't know how many different carrier oils there are, but typically there are things like uh, this oil here I picked up. It's a uh, fractionated coconut oil. So this is just coconut oil that's gone through a process to keep it a liquid. Sometimes coconut oil comes in more like a solid, looks kind of like almost like Crisco or something like that. And then this is another one. This is called jojoba oil. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, jojoba comes from a tree or a nut or something like that. I don't know, I probably should have read this. But anyway, uh, these two things are organic and uh, they're one of the primary carrier oils. There's other things like sweet almond oil. Um, you could use actually olive oil. You could use emu oil, which would provide some healing properties to your skin and things like that, they say. So these are the two oils I'm gonna use for a carrier oil. Then we got some essential oils. Now essential oils are strong oils. You can't use them on your skin directly. They might cause irritation, rashes, burns, things like that. Uh, they're very strong. They're used in aromatherapy. The ones I picked up are actually for aromatherapy and you probably shouldn't use them all the time on your skin, but I'm gonna use them because it's what I had available at my local Walmart. So I picked up some sandalwood essential oil. I picked up some grapefruit. That has a really interesting flavor or scent. Picked up some lavender and I picked up some frankincense. So what you do is you mix up your carrier oils. You add in the essential oil. You need a container to store it in. These are some three ounce bottles I picked up at Walmart and then uh, something to mix it in. This is my wife's uh, espresso shot glass. Uh, which she used in her coffee shop business to measure out espresso. So it measures an ounce right here on the back. And then I'll need a funnel to pour it in the bottle and some towels because this is gonna get just a little bit greasy. The first thing we're gonna do is since we're making an ounce, 
I'm just gonna mix it 50-50. So I'm gonna use a half an ounce of coconut oil. So we just kind of squirt that in there. Let me use a half ounce of the jojoba. Now this one happens to have a stem on it for a sprayer. I'm not sure why it has that. You probably want to spray it on your hair or face or I, I don't know, but I'm gonna fill this up till we have a full ounce. Put the lids on because you don't want to spill this on your furniture, on your carpet, on your clothes. It'll actually be a mess. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sandalwood oil and we have, I can get the lid off, a little thing here that kind of keeps it all from coming out at once. Uh, you can pour it a drop at a time. And I'm gonna pour, I think maybe eight drops. So that's just a guess. You could go with less and add more. You can't take it out after you put it in. So just maybe one or two, try it, keep trying it till you get what you like. But I'm gonna try eight since I've done this before. So here we go. And now what we have, I just got a chopstick that I, use like Chinese food or whatever. And I just use that for a stirring stick. I'm gonna stir that up just a little bit. You see the oil's kind of mixing there. It makes a nice swirly pattern. Put a little bit on the back of my hand, rub it in, get a good smell. And I think maybe I could use a little bit more, but before I do that, I'm gonna to go to another oil. This time I'm gonna try frankincense. I haven't tried this one before. So I'm gonna smell this. This is really strong. Not sure what it smells like. I guess frankincense. They gave it to Jesus. It must be good, right? So I'm going to put in three drops of frankincense. One, two, three. There it went. I'm going to stir that up. Put it on my hand, just in a different place. I'm going to smell that. Ooh, I really like that. I think I'm going to try one more drop of the frankincense, though. I don't have myrrh. And I certainly don't have gold. So one more drop of frankincense. Stir that up. Oh, that's much better. And I'm going to put one drop of lavender in it. The lavender is surprisingly strong. I'm gonna put two. So I think I had eight, four, or five, I've already lost count. And two, spray a little bit on. Oh, that has a wonderful, wonderful scent. All right, so now we have to do, take the lid off our bottle, get our little funnel out, pour that in. The reason I mix this up in one ounce instead of a full three ounces is I might not like it. And I don't want to waste all of my carrier oils making samples. So I give that a little swirl and it looks great. And I can pop the cap now. A little bit in the hands. Maybe too much. And right into the beard. Massage that around. Make sure it gets on the skin. This stuff will condition your skin. Put it on the mustache so I can continue to smell it. So that's how you make beard oil. So I'd like to know what you think about it. I'd like to know if you've tried it. I'd like to know what scents you might like. I want to try some more leather and tobacco. I want to try some fruitier flavors, the grapefruit. I did do one the other day with grapefruit and vanilla, and it smells like a dream sickle. Highly recommend it. So that's the video. Don't forget, make sure that you subscribe. Hit like, leave a comment, let me know what's going on. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. I'm kind of new at this, trying to figure it out. But I sure appreciate you being here today on Flip Flop Farmer. I'm Dave Anderson. Thanks a lot.